Can anyone tell me where the car is? <laughs> where is the car? Okay, there. There is one car in 1900 Fifth Avenue, New York City. 1913. Can anyone tell me where the horse is? So I'm going to talk about disruption today. And I'll talk about what that means uh, in a second. But when disruption happens, it happens or it can happen very, very quickly. Uh, but I want to take you back to New York City again, to 1900. And, and this is a world of horses. And what I did not tell you, and it looks cute and romantic and all that, but it wasn't. It wasn't. Uh, does anyone know the horseman war crisis? <laughs> I mean, that, you think you have problems. So in 1880, before actually the number of horses peaked in New York City, they had 175,000 horses wow. producing 4 million pounds of poop every single day, okay, on New York City streets, day in and day out. Now this caused a massive crisis in city planning. And when I say New York City, I also mean London and Sydney and Paris and every large uh, city, right? Wealthy city. Um, you know, environmental. I mean, imagine four million pounds when it rains. Imagine the, the exactly, exactly, smelly, uh, horrible in the summer. They would pile this up in vacant lots up to six feet, feet high. Okay, so the summer was not better than the winter. Um, you know, healthcare. Three billion flies would hatch in all this poop in U.S. cities. Uh, per day, three billion flies per day, causing massive outbreaks in disease and typhoid and, and so on and so forth. Congestion, I mean, imagine horses are very hard to manage. Uh, congestion was really bad. And death, uh, 15,000 dead horses per year had to be carted away in New York City. And 200 people died per year, killed by horses. That, on a per capita basis, was higher than the number of people who die in car accidents today in New York City. Okay? So it, it was a massive crisis. What happened was, in 1898, it, 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 they called the first worldwide conference, um, urban planning conference, right? something like this, first worldwide uh, in New York, and the topic was the horse manure crisis, because it was such a huge problem. Uh, I mean, in, in, in London, they were forecasting that, that poop was going to go up to every second floor uh, by 1930 or 1950. I mean, every prognosticator was saying, we're going to drown in this thing, OK? Um, so they called this conference. It was a 10-day conference. And after three days, they called it up. There's no new ideas. No new ideas. I mean, the things that we're talking about, we've talked about for 100 years. There's nothing new. So they shut it down, and everyone went home to Sydney and to London and whatever. They could not do anything about the horse poop crisis. OK? Now, this is 1913. From that massive horse food crisis to this picture took 15 years. What solved it was a technology revolution called the internal combustion engine car. It solved all those environmental issues and health issues and, 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 and so on and so forth. Okay? Now, of course, this, the car, has become the horse manure problem of the 21st century, right? Greenhouse gases and congestion and parking and, and all that stuff. Um, so the technologies, the organizations, the planning processes, the culture of the Industrial Revolution 
that cleaned up that forest poop have already run out of, course, uh, of steam. Now we're entering, we have already entered the information technology revolution. And the technologies that I've talked about today, make no mistake, the electric vehicle is a mobile computer on wheels. The self-driving car is a mobile computer. I mean, it's, it's driven by computers, by artificial intelligence, and a battery, and software, and an operating system, just like your computer, okay? The next 15 years, we'll see more changes in transportation than we have seen in 100 years, not since 1900, okay? Make no mistake about that. These are some of the key technologies that will make this happen. This will be over. Uh, the clean disruption is going to make our cities cleaner, healthier, and less congested. We're going to need less parking, fewer highways. They're not going to be as polluting as, 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 uh, as the internal combustion engine. This is all going to happen within 15 years, make no mistake. Um, and the cities that lead the clean disruption, just like Detroit led the internal combustion engine disruption back then and became a great city, not anymore. Um, but um, the, the cities that lead the clean disruption are going to lead the 21st century. Just like Detroit was the center of, 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 of manufacturing and wealth generation for decades, those are the cities that are gonna lead the 21st century. And this is not in the future. This revolution, this disruption is happening now. It's happening as we speak. Thank you.